He credits a single button with saving his life. Today, we're hearing from a Prestonsburg police officer shot in the line of duty. The shooting happened during a standoff in early October. Sergeant Adam Dixon says it highlights the dangers officers face. In a WKYT exclusive, he tells our Hillary Thornton why it still will not keep him away from patrolling the streets of his community. You know, somebody kind of explained it as, you know, man, it was like the whole town just kind of stopped. It was a routine traffic stop that led Prestonsburg Police Sergeant Adam Dixon on a chase of Abbott Creek, ending at this home where Robert Powers ran inside armed with a gun. Anybody who gets in this job has to know in the back of their mind that, that's, that any type of situation like that is a possibility. Um, they have to know. Backup arriving for Dixon, according to testimony given in court, the officers then tased Powers, but that was unsuccessful. Powers reached for his gun, shooting at the officers, hitting 30-year-old Dixon in the chest. The uniform buttons that we wear on her shirt, actually on the in the middle of the Commonwealth Kentucky seal, there's a there's a dent. That single button deflecting the bullet, guiding it to a place that many feel saved Dixon's life. That the bullet actually struck that, which where that button sits is right actually to would be to about the the right side of where the wounds actually is lodging in his sternum without hitting anything else awake and alert through the whole thing dixon remembers waiting to be airlifted in the back of an ambulance anything i could do to stay calm during the whole thing and everybody would kind of look in and say something then i'd, I'd make a joke and they'd be like oh well, he's all right he's a lucky man He's a lucky man. That is the common sentiment surrounding the hometown officer, eternally grateful, but something Dixon now wearing that button around his neck. It's got some sentimental value. Says it's difficult to deal with considering just weeks later, his brother in blue, Richmond officer Daniel Ellis, was shot in the head. I was like, you know, hopefully he's going to be as lucky as I was. Um, that's what I kept hoping and praying for. Dixon remembers then getting the news that Ellis would not survive his injuries. You can't help but to first ask, you know, why, why was I so lucky? Um, and I don't know the answer to that. He began learning about Raleigh Sizemore charged with the shooting of Officer Ellis. Both Sizemore and Powers have lengthy criminal backgrounds. According to state records, since 2006, Powers has faced numerous charges ranging from drug possession to burglary. However, never spending any significant time in jail. And I understand that one way it's looked at is saving money um, through the state and how much it costs to incarcerate people. Um, but sometimes you can't really put a price tag on the people of the Commonwealth safety. Repeat offenders that's out ju isn't just pose a danger just to law enforcement officers, it's everybody. Every time that they're incarcerated for a nonviolent offense, you, you can't help but to think, well, you know, once they're out, you know, what do they, if they have a drug problem or if, you know, if, if they steal or something like that, where is it, where do they stop? Thankful for his community during this all, also thankful for all of his brothers and sisters who wear the uniform. Many living out their dream job like Dixon, making sacrifices we may never understand. The job itself is, is always a rewarding one. It can be. Um, I'm not going to say it's not dangerous because it is, but it's also very, very difficult. A job he says he is looking forward to continuing. As soon as I get released and get back to work, if uh, hopefully that's sooner than later. So. So you're ready to get back out there? Yeah, I'm. I'm ready to get back. Just not, not for you know, just not for me, but you know, for my other, my other officers that work here. In Prestonsburg, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Very, very lucky, as she said. Since Dixon was shot, all Prestonsburg police officers must wear their safety vests.